drama in the Debian community as the KeePass XC Debian maintainer has removed all network features from the program. This tweet went out earlier today from the developers behind KeePass XC, Debian users, be aware the maintainer of the KeePass XC package for Debian has unilaterally decided to remove all features from it. You will need to switch to KeePass XC full to maintain capabilities once this lands outside of testing slash SID. So what is KeePass XC? Well, KeePass XC is a free and open source password manager that started as a community port of KeePass X, which itself is a cross-platform port of KeePass. According to the Debian package for KeePass XC, in contrast to KeePass X, KeePass XC is actively developed and has more features. For example, connectivity to a web browser plugin. This package includes only the bare minimal functionality and no security complications like networking, SSH agent, browser plugin, FDO secret storage. See KeePass XC full if you absolutely need those. Already you might notice a contradiction here. It has features such as connectivity to a web browser plugin. However, that web browser plugin is disabled. Interesting. Users seem to be quite confused asking why, but really the answer is security. As we saw on the Debian package info page for the KeePass XC package, the package maintainer considers things like networking, SSH agent, and the browser plugin to be security complications. And that seems to be the justification for removing them. In fact, we can trace this back all the way to Debian bug report number 953529, opened in March 2020 by Tom. Here's the bug report. KeePass XC provides a CMake option to disable networking support, like download the fav icon something. I believe most of the people don't want their password manager to connect somewhere they don't know, and it will improve user privacy. Later that year, someone responded, Hi there. I'm writing to voice that I disagree with the premise of this bug report. For instance, I find password autofill and automatic checking against have I been pwned valuable and I wouldn't want to miss it. So I would prefer that networking support is retained in KeePass XC, or if it were to be disabled, I would prefer if it were done in a separate package, such as KeePass XC no network or something like that. Tony responds to Andreas, a separate binary package would be nice, although I prefer that the default binary have networking disabled and users could opt in by installing KeePass XC net enabled, or whatever you decide to name it. Of course, that's just my opinion. For my systems, I always recompile the source package with the networking turned off. And here is the message that started this recent controversy. We believe the bug you reported is fixed in the latest version of KeePass XC, which is due to be installed in the Debian FTP archive. A summary of the changes between this version and the previous one is attached. Thank you for reporting this bug, it will now be closed, etc, etc. And here is the change log. Adjust duplicate copyright patterns to best of knowledge. The KeePass XC logo seem to have accidentally been included in the list of icons taken from the material icon theme, which is icons for the toolbar. Also drop the dropped KeePass XC dark SVG icon. Second point, move all networking and IPC code to KeePass XC full, which closes this bug. Now, I wouldn't follow you for thinking that this is just a minor change that has no impact whatsoever on the users. I mean, moving around some copyright logos and moving some networking and IPC code to a different package, that doesn't sound like it should change anything as far as how the user would use that application. But you would be wrong. This second point apparently implies that everything outside of the core package, that is the absolute bare minimum functionality that the tool provides, has been removed. So that includes things like the browser plugin and autofill and that sort of thing, which at least in my mind, I would expect from a password manager. I understand not everyone would feel that way, but at least it should be mentioned in the change log that changes like that are being removed and moved to an entirely different package. And that seems to be the latest message in this thread on the Debian bugs page. And after taking a look at the bug, here's the response from the developer. That bug report is bunk. He removed all features, not just networking. That includes YubiKey support, autotype, and browser integration. And that just leaves users confused, but now confused as to why they would do that. I agree with this comment right here in particular. To be fair, the changelog does say, and IPC, 
but that's certainly an interesting choice. I think you could make a strong argument that the missing features reduce more vulnerabilities than they create, and most users will want them. The other way around approach of KeePass XC minimal versus KeePass XC would have made a lot more sense. I think so too. It seems a little weird to me to remove features from the package if you're going to call it the same thing. I mean, surely someone that's an existing user would want to keep using the package with the same name. You know, for new users, okay, sure, they might want to prefer the minimal one, that's fine. But if you already have the KeePass XC package installed, you'd think that new versions of this package would continue to have the same features that already existed in the past and already worked on your machine. This just seems like it's adding extra work trying to track down why this is happening that's very not obvious to users, and I don't really understand why a maintainer would want to change something like that. And as you can imagine, users are already confused and are already filing bugs on the KeePass XC repository about features not working. Here's one example. Debian SID no feature KeePass XC package. I'm using the Brave and Firefox browsers under Ubuntu, testing using KeePass XC version 2.7.7. Suddenly, the browser integration doesn't work anymore. So I went into the settings menu to enable it again, but the browser integration from the list box selection is gone. Not only that, but there are only two items left, general and security. See this picture in the attachment. All the other options are missing, so I can't enable the browser integration anymore. Expected behavior. Working browser options and working integration. Actual behavior. Browser integration is not working and the options to enable them are not available anymore. Clearly the user thinks this is a bug because, well from a user's perspective it is. A feature used to work and suddenly it's not available anymore. The main developer of the KeePass XC package then brings this to the attention of the Debian package maintainer. At Julian, this needs to be reverted ASAP. This is now our fourth bug report because of the decision to neuter the base KeePass XC package in Debian. Put the base package back where it was and create a KeePass XC minimal. Julian replies, I'm afraid that's not going to happen. It was a mistake to ship with all plugins built by default. This will be painful for a year as users annoyingly do not read the news files they should be reading, but there is little that can be done about that. It is our responsibility to our users to provide them the most secure option possible as the default. All of these features are superfluous and do not really belong in a local password database manager. These developments are all utterly misguided. Users who need this crap can install the crappy version, but obviously this increases the risk of drive-by contributor attacks. Wow. I think the reactions to this post really should tell you just about, you know, how the community feels about this. First of all, you are correct. Users generally do not read the news for the packages that they update, because most of the time they shouldn't need to, because there's an implicit trust between the users and the package maintainers, that the things that work will continue to work, and that they won't just be broken for some arbitrary reason. Second point. Second point. It is our responsibility to our users to provide them the most secure option possible as the default. I think that's absolutely ridiculous. I mean, you compile the Linux kernel with networking features, clearly that has some security vulnerabilities, so, I mean, honestly, if you want the most secure system possible, just have a system that does nothing right? There's always going to be some trade-off between security and usability, and pushing that all the way to the extreme of maximum security at all costs is ridiculous, because users are just going to find workarounds, right? I mean, we've known this for a long time with password requirements, like, you know, the password must change every six months, and you need to have uppercase letters and numbers and all kinds of punctuation, in that case, once you have all these requirements, what users end up doing is just writing the password down on a sticky note and sticking it to their monitor. Because at that point, you've pushed the security aspect of it so far to the extreme that the usability is basically non-existent, and so users will instead circumvent that security, which is less secure than if you just had looser requirements in the first place. So that's just an absolutely ridiculous argument, I think, and fundamentally misunderstands the purpose of security. All of these features are superfluous and do not really belong in a local password database manager. These developments are utterly misguided. I don't think so at all. Clearly users are happy with this package and not happy with this comment. And I mean, sure, there is certainly some trade-off, right? Having the ability to autofill passwords into your web browser might present some kind of security 
risk. Yes, I agree with that, but clearly it's a feature that users want, and I think if the alternative is not using a password manager at all, then this is certainly better than that. And in fact, this provides much better usability, which leads users to actually use a password manager in the first place, making it more secure than the alternative. And really, I'm just not sure that this kind of attack on the users makes any kind of sense from a package maintainer. If a package maintainer doesn't understand what their users want, then quite frankly, they shouldn't be maintaining the package. Droid Monkey, the developer of KeePass XC, responds, Good luck to you. Really bad decision. We will be sure to let everyone know. And then quoting the responsibility to our users to provide them with the most secure option possible. It's the same code from the same provider. Do you have a documented, validated security issue with all of the features you provide? Otherwise, it's your opinion and likely yours alone. And a note about the word plugin. You fundamentally misunderstand our program when you use the word plugin. These are built-in features, not plugins. The features can be enabled as desired by the user, and they come disabled by default. This change to not compile and ship these features in the base KeePass XC package does nothing but create angry or confused users. So despite the fact that these are called plugins, these are really just core features of the program that can be disabled with compile time flags. So I think the word plugin here really gives some people the wrong idea that you know, it comes from some other untrusted source and there's some kind of inherent security issue here. It doesn't seem like there's anything inherently different between this and the core functionality of the program, apart from, you know, the functionality provided by the feature itself and the general idea of, okay, it's more code that needs to be audited. However, not everyone thinks this way. The Zero here commented, I agree with Julian. Compiling without plugins was added as a feature back in 2016 to reduce attack surface and potential vulnerabilities. See these three linked issues. This was especially a heated topic back then because key HTTP had a vulnerability in the past, and also the fav icon fetching mechanism via HTTP was susceptible to some attacks. In my opinion, that is the Zero's opinion, KeePass XC should provide a warning UI in place of the usual browser integration page informing the user that the current installation doesn't have such capabilities and they should install the full version instead. This last point actually I agree with. I think if you have the ability to disable certain parts of a program at compile time, especially things that remove parts of the UI such as the settings that I mentioned earlier, right, the browser integration settings because that feature doesn't exist, you should at least provide some kind of warning in that location, like, you know, just a text label that says browser integration is not available because it was compiled without that feature. Something like that, that at least gives users, you know, somewhere to start looking because otherwise they'll realistically think that it's a bug that the feature is missing. But if that label is there, at least they'll see, okay, this was some kind of configuration thing. Perhaps I should go to my package maintainer to, about this issue instead of complaining to upstream. I won't go through the rest of the comments, you can read them on your own, but it seems like generally people agree with the developers of the KeePass XC package here, and that the Debian package maintainer is in the wrong. So what do I think about this? Well, I agree with this first comment here on Hacker News. Gutting the functionality that Upstream has built into a piece of software and then publishing it under the same name is dubious at best. If they want to go this direction, they should publish as a fork under a different name so Upstream doesn't get constantly barraged by complaints of users having issues. This reminds me of the time years ago when the Debian maintainer of Chromium decided to unilaterally disable the ability to install extensions. Thankfully, more pragmatic people prevailed and the patch was reverted. This also reminds me of a time many many years ago when Debian removed the kernel interface that provided the ability to load binary firmware into network cards and broke networking for me. I generally agree here. I think that the package maintainer overstepped their bounds and they should revert this change because ultimately I think that's what's best for users. That'll also have the benefit of less superfluous issues created on the upstream repository, which means that upstream will have more time to actually work on their software rather than just redirecting people and saying, this isn't our fault go talk to the Debian package maintainers. And one last point that I wanted to touch on, this comment. Sorry, why do maintainers owe us anything? They're typically unpaid or poorly paid and are doing everyone a favor. The code is open source and anyone who doesn't like their work can easily fork the project. They don't need to justify anything to us. And I think that kind of comment is a little bit ridiculous. And for the most part, I agree with this reply from Thaumaturgy here. I do a lot of volunteer work too. Guess what? My decisions in those roles are not unimpeachable. Being a volunteer also does not mean you are owed anything, even gratitude. 
It's a thing you choose to do, and if you don't like doing it anymore, you should stop doing it. Package maintainers aren't self-sacrificial saints or all that unique as volunteers go. This is a bad decision. It deserves criticism and discussion. The volunteer status of package maintainership is irrelevant. And that I agree with. Package maintainers generally don't get as much recognition as they should, however, that doesn't make them immune to criticism. Nor does it excuse bad decisions. Hopefully, the community applies enough pressure on the package maintainer to revert this decision. But what do you think? Was removing these features the right decision? Let me know in the comments.